Hey, welcome to St. Paul's Community Labyrinth here in Tower City. Um, a lot of people probably aren't aware that this is here, but uh, Pastor Maureen is going to show you exactly where it is. And she'll take you around the labyrinth and show you what's where, where it's located. All right, so here is St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Tower City, right beside the labyrinth. And as we go around, you see across the street, across Grand, is Trinity United Church of Christ in the Parsonage. And then over here is St. Paul's Parsonage. And we're sitting here in the center, in the center of the labyrinth. Um, just a little background of, of what has happened is... 2012, we were at a, a synod workshop, and it was do what you can uh, with what you have and where you are. So the idea was we were so all supposed to think of something that wasn't already in our community, and we were supposed to maybe offer that as something new for the community. So our our group that was there came up with a labyrinth, and uh, but nobody knew how to do it. So I used to go to retreats down at uh, in Reading at Maria Wall Retreat Center, and on the way there was a sign that said Epplers Church Labyrinth. So one day on the way home we stopped and we walked the labyrinth, and uh, we did that a couple times. At, uh, travels and then one day when we were there there was a man there that was the caretaker and actually he was the one who built the labyrinth and he was very informative and very very nice and he sent me a whole pack with their plans of their labyrinth how they planned it out um, what materials they needed uh, where they got them how much they were so that was a good place to start. And so we did some more planning and um, the, uh, the, the, there was a lot of people in the community, a lot of businesses that helped us out. Um, some, some people donate, donate, gave donations of their time and the, their services. Uh, some of the people, I just want to tell you, some of the people who, who worked on this, and one in particular was Brian Thompson. He, he actually looked at the plans that we had, and he planned the whole thing. And he worked endlessly. He, he would come after his regular job, with, some nights with a flashlight, and he would work on this. So if it wasn't... If it wasn't for him, this probably would not still be done. But he, he was he was really good. He was really good at this. And I think he had some background in landscaping too. So he uh, he gave us a list of, of plants and trees and stuff to put around it. Uh, some that are eventually supposed to hold down the noise, but it's not too noisy. And um, some of the other. Um, some of the other businesses that helped was Dieter Construction. They they dug everything out, and and this this area here was the old Tower City High School, and that was torn down um, because the uh, this block can only be used for education and the church. Uh, we got to purchase it for uh, I think a couple dollars, and it sat here for a long time, but. Uh, they, they dug it out for us, and then we, we got um, plants and stuff from Springside Nursery, which is outside of Lichens, and um, Murray, Jim Murray Masonry, he, he did the center for us, and uh, Reaction Graphics, they made our sign, and the chicken coop, and King Sawmill over in Grass, the chicken coop, we got our benches from there. Oh. And they do a lot of uh, ornamental things for outside. And then we got so uh, we had a lot of publicity from 
um, Vicki Terwilliger, she came and she, she wrote stories about it. So it wasn't just us, it was, it was a combination of a lot of people and a lot of time. And um, as far as the upkeep of it, as you will be able to see when we walk, it needs a lot of weeding. And uh, to begin with, we were much younger, and, and we did it. But as we get older, it's not as easy. And uh, Mike Leiter and his Boy Scout troop, they have helped. They've come and they've worked on it. And as, um, was it SMS Lawn and Landscaping? The last couple of years they've come and they've done some weeding and, and cleaning up. So, of course, Claire, he cuts the grass for us and does that stuff. So that's pretty much the upkeep of it. Um, it's open dawn to dusk every day. It, everyone is welcome. Um, you can come anytime. You don't need any prior consent or anything. You just, just come and walk. And it's a, it's a great place. It's very peaceful. It's, um, I come here a lot. It's very peaceful. And sometimes I just walk just to the center here and sit <clears throat> and just take in everything. It's, uh, you know, sometimes you see something different every day, even though you're used to being here. So it's, it's, it's kind of a, a really unique place. There was a, a group from Harrisburg came, and the, one of the women that was with them, from Chiefs, So, I don't think many people know how lucky we are to have this, and, uh, and there's, no, there's no set way as to walking it. There's, it's not a maze, so you can't get lost. You start at the, at the entrance and follow the path, and you end up in here, and then when you leave, you follow the path out, and you end up at where you began. So. Three things. Uh, when you start, you should three the three R's. When you start, you should release release everything inside of you that's giving you problems, or you know. And then, as you get into the center, you should just experience the calm and the peace, and just sit and listen. So that's receiving. And then the last phase would be when you go out, and that's resolving. And that's to go out feeling that you're going to change whatever was bothering you or whatever circumstance you were thinking about or, you know, whatever, whatever was on your mind when you were in here, you're going to resolve it in some way peacefully. Not everybody comes and, and when they're walking out, they think, oh, well, you yeah, know, that's the way it is. But, uh, but eventually, it comes to them that listening, and listening is a big thing. So if you come in here and you just sit and listen and don't really have anything on your mind, you will get something out of it. Hmm. So um, I don't know if there's any questions you might have, but um, that's what I have to call it. Well, can children walk the labyrinth? Yes. Um, I think the preschool kids come over periodically and they walk. And my my great-grandson and I have been walking for a long time. He, he walked with me when, when he was like only four. And first when we came in, he'd run. I said, no, no, he can't run. Walk. So he'd walk really fast and he'd look back and say, 
Am I winning? Yep, yep, you're winning. So he'd get to the center and then he'd sit here and he'd say, now what? I said, well, now we're going to pray. Well, what should we pray for? I said, well, what would you like to pray for? Well, he'd give me a whole list of the dogs and the cats and the this and the that. And so one day, once he was getting older and he'd come up and walk with me, I was coming around here and he was sitting on the bench and he had his eyes closed and he said, Nemo, don't talk to me because I'm doing a really good prayer. I said, okay. <laughs> so, you know, I think they get it. It's uh -huh. just that you have to introduce them to to the idea and to the the experience. Mm -hmm. So it's nice that you, you walk as you pray and you get a little exercise to right. make you feel better and think clearer. And right. And even on a day like this, I mean, still look at the look at the view. I mean, it's it's uh, it's great. You can see the mountains. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we've had uh, retreats. We've had um, retreats that start like on a Friday night, and end with worship on Sunday. And uh, Bonnie Carr, I don't know. You might have seen her on Facebook. She um, has. Uh, in his footsteps, he's, she's the founder of that, and she does labyrinth retreats, which have really been well received. Uh, she's very informative, and she a lot of hands on. Like people, we're not out here walking. She has finger labyrinths, and sometimes we color them, and sometimes you know you can put your finger and go around. So we've done those, and we've had um, quarterly walks with um, two pastors from down in Harrisburg, Pastor uh, Bonita Rose and Marilyn Gerald, I think is her last name. And they were called Journey of the Spirit, and they came uh, like every three months, and we did, we did a, a retreat with them. And then we have uh, just short retreat, short walks that a couple of them, Pastor Annette has led uh, pre-election walks, uh, winter solstice walk. Um, I'm trying to think of what the other ones were. Um, we had a group, a catechism group from St. John's in Friedensburg. They came and, and I did a, a guided tour with them with, and we ended with Legos here in the middle. So that was interesting. And then we had a um, uh, a woman's group from over at St. John's in uh, Friedens in uh, Higgins. They came, and that one was really, that was powerful. They, we did a guided one, but when they got in the center, they sang, yeah. and that was really nice. It really sounded nice here. So you can, you can come and walk anytime by yourself. You can bring your friends and walk. You shouldn't really walk in groups, or you should have some space in between. Um, this was a social distancing before we had to. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> or you can have a guided one if you, if you uh, choose to do that. You can contact me and you can set something up for that. So there's a lot of things that go on. I believe Annette brings her catechism kids over once in a while. So I don't know how, if you have done that or not. Yeah, we did it once. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that's that's about what's been going on here. It's uh, it's really a special place, I think, and I wish more people would use it. But uh, like you said, I, I think it's kind of hidden, and you don't know really it's here. But it's here, and it's available, and... Uh, especially now I mean there's certainly a lot of things to pray for and uh, so this is this is a good place to be all right thank you you're Great. welcome anytime okay well now we're going to take a walk so you can yep. join us as we walk the labyrinth we're going to resolve right <laughs> no no resolve no. we're going to receive we're going to receive <laughs> So we've been in the center, we're going to come to the entrance.
where we'll walk in. Did your tape and you go first. Okay. So we're, we're walking in. You walk between the, the bricks. We're receiving. No, we're... What are we doing? We're releasing, resolving? We are releasing. Releasing. Okay, so we're releasing. We're letting it all go. And the, the labyrinth, it takes longer than you think to walk the whole thing. I mean... And there's no set time that you have to do it in it. Um, some people walk just a little ways and they stop and they pray or, you know, or they get in the middle and they sit there for maybe a half hour or so. So there's no, there's no time. You can just go at your own pace and do your own thing. So um, one of the things is the weeding. And so if anybody's walking and they feel inclined to weed, just oh, okay, go okay. ahead. <laughs> We would appreciate it. But we usually get somebody. Um, if nobody can do it, we usually get somebody to come and, to come and do it for us. So there you see Trinity's Cross and the, the mountains behind. Some pretty flowers, flowering bushes. Hmm. And are these? I don't know what they are, but, but if you look through here, oh, look through there, you can see your cross through these. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's kind of neat looking. <laughs> And so, who did you say did the landscaping? It's really Brian, nice. Brian did most of this. Oh. Look at this tree. How is that? How it's so. Look at the branches, how they're so gnarled and. See them? Yeah. That's, I don't know what that tree's called, but it's pretty neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. I know I've been to some labyrinths at church camps, and they're not nearly as nice as this one. It's a beautiful labyrinth. Well, it feels, feels like the stress is going away <laughs> as I walk. This is the center of the labyrinth. Yes. This is where you receive, where you sit in peace and calm and listen. So thank you for doing this and making people aware of this place. Well, thank you, Marie. We really appreciate it. That was wonderful. And I invite you all to come and enjoy St. Well, uh, Tower City's Hidden Secret. Right. Tower City's Place of Peace, the Labyrinth. All right. Goodbye.